Oh, you can't actually interact with the shirt. That's a shame. Um, right. What was that? Huh. Something sure shoved a short sword up his aft sail. Oh yeah. So what do you do? You run over to check what the hell's wrong. What kind of a madman keeps a perfectly good magnetic monkey locked in a cage? Uh, the Sange. The Singe. I, I'm still not sure on how to call him, but... That guy. What the? Morgan! What happened? <laughs> Went to get your hand. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Had to pay you back for all the trouble. Found Jacques. He told me. What? He told me. What? What did the monkey tell you? Singe. Yeah, that that's that that just sucks. I really liked and like Morgan as a character. Now she's dead. That's great. The singe will pay for this. Oh, he will. I'll make sure of that. It's broken. Oh, Kairos just doesn't sound happy. No, he doesn't. Uh, Jar. Vampiridae flotsimus sucrosus, the flotsam jungle firefly, are a common sight in flotsam's jungles, which they never leave. Although possessing no natural enemies, the flotsamus sucrosus has a notorious sweet tooth, drawing it inexorably to bodies of sugar water. Hmm. Well, let's uh, have a general look around. Picture them. It looks like the singe is using my hand to make something called the jus de vie. Uh, the projector? The Vacalian wind control device? What is that creep doing with it now? Well, that's definitely the last one, isn't it? Because that thing would make a hell of a sound. So, slowly piecing some random bits together, I guess? Electrical device. This must have been broken in the fight between Morgan and DeSinge. I hope the vole escaped. And a curious helmet. So I'm guessing the electrical device will eventually start doing something? I, I'm not sure. Auto trepanation helmet. Hmm. Well, four buttons. And I don't think anything else does anything. No, it doesn't seem that way, so... Ow! What is it? My thumb! Uh, he has a numb th tongue now. Well, that's... God, did, did, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure why we need that. What does that do? What the? Hey, now? Duh. Well, that sucks. Okay, what about the third then? Ow! 
That looks so unpleasant. Ah, I'm blind. Ew. What? Temporary blindness. And a useful pointy thing that I stumbled upon by accident. That's really wedged in there. Huh. Okay then. So what about the last button then? Is that going to be any good? Ow! Ah. Still looks sore. Holy crap. Um, help? Well, it's not good if you feel that way. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Rack of chemicals. I could try to mix up those chemicals, but I'd probably just end up exploding. And not in the funny way. You always do it in the funny way, though. Display cabinet. Lepidoptera flotsamus accelerus. Like many of its more common cousins, the sharp-toothed flotsam island moth has a penchant for noshing on articles of clothing. Where flotsamus accelerus differs is in the pain of its bites, which can be quite annoying, and the rapidity of its meals. A swarm of flotsam moths can strip a man down to his undergarments in mere seconds, assuming the notoriously finicky moths approve of his wardrobe, of course. So, we need a piece of cloth, napkin-sized, and it seems to be stands, so we need some of those moths, don't we? And those were fireflies, that doesn't work. Besides, they're dead, so that definitely doesn't work. So let's uh, go into the jungle then. Alright, let's see if there's anything new. A giant wind control device. And a creepy shack. And jungle entrance, that's it. Let's go look at the shack. Surely there's something interesting in that. I mean, it's the voodoo shack, so... It has to be something good, right? What in the name of Bluebeard's hair dye? Hey, no poaching! I have called dips. I think I may be lost. Shouldn't there be a creepy voodoo shack right about... there? There was. Until they came to arrest that pox-spreading voodoo lady. What happened? First came the flames. Poor Senor Nipperkin went up like St. Elmo's fire. Then she emerged from the conflagration, mumbling ancient curses with every regal step. I never forget the baleful stare she fixed me with as she was left away. And look, condemning me to a lifetime of suffering, shame, and regret. Spooky. And if that wasn't bad enough, I. I haven't found one bit of cool voodoo stuff in the wreckage! Come on! Mob justice can be so unfair. Well, let's see if we can find something then. Well, moths. Well, that seems to be good at least. Partially digested crossroads rug. Well, what a shame. That rug really tied the shack together. The, huh? I, I'm not sure how that would matter at all, but... Even when it's burned to the ground, the voodoo lady's shack is still creepy. Hmm. Impressive, really. So let's look at the moths. Huh. Looks like the light of the shack's embers has attracted a swarm of jungle moths. That probably explains what happened to the voodoo lady's rug. True. Um, well, we have a lamp that kind of is bluish, so let's use that. Maybe the moths will stick to it. Whoa! Well, yes. Uh-oh. Hmm. Looks like these finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. Totally lucky. Also, putting them in your pants, that's... <laughs> don't put moths in your pants, dude. It's a good thing those fashion-conscious moths don't appreciate my clothes or my pockets would have more holes than the Albert Hall. Alright, so now I think we should just run. Let's just actually return to jungle entrance. And let's run out and bring the mods to uh, Stan. See what happens. There's probably some other stuff to do in the jungle, but it definitely said that you have to do stuff in order, so 
Let's focus on the, the napkin, shall we? Stan, meet my little friends. All right, little fellas, check out these high def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. Hey. Um. Well, at least Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. That's good, because that would be a pain in the ass to run back again. Let's look at the sign. Just when my opinion of the legal profession couldn't get any lower, along comes Stan. Huh. <laughs> okay then. So, remember that toy, the already souvenir thing, that would be really bright? Won't that attract the moths? At least that's what I've been thinking. I've not actually tried it, Stan. but... Guybrush, old pal! 